it's an area where it would be very hard to use anything but a robot to do this kind of thing. We uh, have a deep submersible. This is a one kilometer depth uh, vessel. It's untethered, so it doesn't have a wire that goes back to the surface. So you have all the integrity and reliability issues that you had before. There are stop buttons in some sense. Perhaps I'll tell you a little story about that in a minute. Uh, so you, you can't just put it in and forget about it. You, know, you can't go up and collect it again. You've got to worry about it coming back to the surface. But what's really challenging here is you'd like to build up these big underground, these underwater, sorry, maps of the marine environment so that marine biologists and other people can use those to study things like climate, pollution, and so on and so forth. So this is one area where SLAM really comes into its own. So for those of you who don't know, SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. And it's a technique for basically building a map and using that map to navigate the vehicle all at the same time, hence the word simultaneous.